Hey guys, and welcome back to The Family Fudge. Thank you for joining me for another week of school lunch inspiration. Good morning and happy Monday! So today is PB&J day, of course, but today I let the kids choose their own sandwich cutter. So Lily chose a star, Jackson chose a puzzle, and Mackenzie chose the heart. So to go along with our PB&Js today, I'm also giving the kids some of this cucumber. I used to cut the cucumber like this all the time and I sort of forgot about it. This is just a little crinkle cutter, so it kind of looks cute and fancy. Over in this corner, I have a blueberry bar. It looks like this, although this one's a raspberry kind. So this is a whole wheat fig and fruit bar. I just gave the kids one a piece and I added some really fun eyes just to make it cute. Now to go along with lunch today, I'm also giving the kids a yogurt tube. These are all blueberry flavored. And I also have a little fruit cup. This fruit cup has blueberries, red grapes, green grapes, and black grapes. Oh yes, and for their drink today, I'm just giving them a fruit punch. What do you guys think? That looks cool. Good. It's very blue, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, blue, blue, blue. And we'll see you when we get back. Bye. We're back home now. Here's what we ate. How'd it go, guys? Uh, it was good. Uh huh. I see that Mackenzie ate everything. Good job. Both Jackson and Lily did not eat their yogurt. You don't like this yogurt? Uh -huh. No. You don't like it? Now, I have to tell you guys that the Stonyfield yogurt, they add less sugar, which I think is good, but apparently the kids think it's too sour. So, I don't know about that. <laughs> Jackson also left his blueberry bar. What happened? You don't like those? Mm -hmm. They're and yummy. Lily left some of her cucumbers. What happened? I think I think I only gave her three, so she only took one bite. Why? Um, it's because I didn't have enough time. Didn't have enough time? Okay, well, that's not too bad. It's and okay. We'll, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. And happy Tuesday. Today's lunch is nut free. Yes, and I didn't really plan for it to be orange, although it's very orange, right guys? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So today our sandwiches are roast beef on croissant bread. We haven't had croissants in a while, so I thought the kids would really like them. And inside I just added one slice of roast beef. We really like this kind from Costco. Back over here I have a little tangerine cutie. The kids actually helped me peel them so they're already ready to go. And in this corner I have some carrots and I made them really cute by using my crinkle cutter. Now for our sandwich, I did go ahead and put the meat on there and I put a cute little eyeball pick just for fun. But I'm gonna give the kids the mayonnaise separately. It's in this little squeezy bottle. I find these at the Dollar Tree. So when the kids are ready, they can actually squirt their mayonnaise on their sandwich all by themselves. That way, the mayonnaise won't get the sandwich all soggy before lunch. Now to go along with this today, I am giving the kids a string cheese. But this is actually a string cheese with cheddar cheese as well. You can see it's kind of swirled in there. To go with their lunch, I'm also giving them some of these veggie straws. And then for their snack today, I'm also giving them an apple mango fruit bar. There's just apples and mangoes in here. It's gluten-free, it's nut-free. It's actually really good. What do you guys think? It looks good. Uh -huh. All right, let's get all of our lids on and then we'll head out the door. Okay guys, it is almost bedtime and we're just getting around to checking lunches. I think that happens at least once a week. Right, Mackenzie? Yeah. So how was lunch today? It was good. I see that you ate everything and Jackson did too. And Lily, she, she did pretty good. She has a few pieces of oranges left, or tangerines, and a few little pieces of carrots. I'm gonna eat the tangerines. You can eat it right now? Yeah, I can do it. How were these little um, apple mango bars? They were really, really good. Yeah. So what was your favorite part? My favorite part was the croissant. Good job today, guys. And we'll see you tomorrow. Good afternoon and welcome to Wednesday. All right now I've got Jackson and Lily here helping me. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. So today we're actually having lunch at home and I just finished up making it. Let me show you what we made. We do have something new today that we're trying. These are the broccoli and cheese nuggets. So they look like chicken nuggets, but they're actually broccoli and cheese and they're also gluten free. So I found these at Walmart, I believe, and I've also seen them at Target. So we'll see if the kids like them or not. Now also to go along with that today, I'm also giving them lots of sugar snap peas 
And in this little container, I put some of the um, hummus that we got from Costco. This is the Simply Roasted Pine Nut Hummus. It's really good. And so the kids can dip their little sugar snack peas in there. I think they'll really like that. And then I have the teeny tiniest, cutest little apple, one for each child. It's really small and petite, so I think they can handle it without me cutting it. And then over in this corner, I have just a sliver of avocado. Now the kids used to eat avocado like this all the time, just plain. Well, there's a little bit of salt and pepper on there. So we'll see if they still like it. I'm not quite sure if they will, but I'm trying to use up the avocados before they go bad. And then lastly, I'm also giving them a little yogurt tube just to fill it in, just in case they are not big fans of these, but we shall see. Does it look good, Lily? Yeah! All right, after lunch, I'll show you how they did. Okay, friends, lunchtime is over now, and I tried these nuggets, and I will tell you exactly what I think, but I wanna let the kids tell you what they thought first. What'd you think, Mackenzie? It was kinda taste weird. Weird? Jackson, did you like them? Mm, yeah, I ate one. Yeah, you did. What about you, Lily? Um, not Lily. She took one single bite, and I have to be honest with you, I tried these, and I like broccoli, I like cheese, but I did not like these. I didn't think they were very good at all, so I don't really blame them for not liking them either. But at least we tried them. They looked like they were gonna be good. And then Mackenzie ate all of her peas. She left most of her hummus and most of her apple. What was wrong with your apple? They kind of hurt my teeth, and I don't like the skin getting stuck in my teeth. Either. Oh, you have yeah, some wiggly teeth? Yeah. Jackson did a really good job with his apple and everything else. He wasn't a fan of the hummus either, which is strange, because Lily loved hers. Good yeah, job. Yeah, I dipped mine into the peas. Good job, that's exactly what you're supposed to do. But she didn't eat her avocado. She only ate some of it. I ate some of it. Yep. Flip it around. Flip it around. Oh yes, I see the bite marks now. She has a little bit of apple left too. How come you didn't eat your, your Thing. Look, it has like Cause I do a have enough time because I need to test it before we go down with one. Oh, well, I think I can wipe it off and stick it back in the fridge. Okay, guys, well, good job. I will see you tomorrow. Hi, guys, and welcome, welcome to, to Thursday. Thursday. Very good. Right now, I've got Mackenzie and Jackson here. I wanted to call him Griffin there for a second. <laughs> Sorry, Jackson. You guys ever do that? Call your kids by the wrong name? I do it way too often. But anyway, so on Thursdays, I'm gonna try to make uh, more allergy-friendly lunches. I've had a lot of requests to show that because I know a lot of moms out there and kids out there have this issue. So today's lunch is actually all gluten-free. It's also vegetarian. But this one is not dairy-free because I'm actually using some store-prepared lentils and there is actually some milk in there. So if you want this to be dairy-free as well, maybe just make your own lentils. So for today's lunch, I started by filling up the thermoses with some wild brown rice. I just heated it up and got it right in there and then I topped it with the lentils. We get these from Costco. They are really good and they're so easy and fast. And like I said, they're vegetarian and gluten-free. Now to go along with that today, I have a lot of fruits and veggies, starting with some cucumbers back over in this corner, and I made them really fun by using my flour cookie cutter. And I also added this cute little pig just for fun. Over here I have just a few blueberries. I just had a few left and I wanted to use them up. And then I also gave the kids this pouch of apple mango um, sauce. So it's gluten-free, it's vegan, it's just apples and mangoes, really good. Those are really good. Yeah. We love those. And then I'm also sending them with one treat today. These are the fruit wraps from Trader Joe's. It's kind of like a fruit snack, kind of like a fruit leather, but it's just strawberries and apples, so it's not too bad. Does that look like enough? Yeah. All right. And we'll see you when we get back. Lunch is over, over now. So here's what, how we did. <laughs> okay guys, so yes, lunch is over. Here's how they did. Mackenzie ate all of her lentils and rice. You really liked it, right? Mm-hmm. Good, and everything else is gone. Jackson also ate all of his, so that's excellent. I had just enough, too. Just enough. Jackson has some blueberries left. And Lily, she did eat most of it, but there's still some left. And she still has a little bit. Yeah, she only had one cucumber, but if she had more time, she would probably finish all of them, so maybe she'll eat those later. So what was your favorite part, you guys? The lentils. 
Yeah, me too. I like the lentils. Cool. It's good. I'm glad that you like these because I like to buy these from Costco quite often. So this was a very quick and easy lunch to make. I like everything except for the lentils. Everything except the lentils? Oh, well, two out of three is not bad, right? Mm-hmm. And we'll see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Hi, guys, and welcome to Friday. Now, just like last Friday, I wanted to do a special theme. And since there's a new Avengers movie out right now, I wanted to do another Avengers-themed lunch. This time, I kind of lean more towards the Hulk, but you also see some other characters as well. What do you guys think? It looks cool. Yeah. Now, can you tell what this guy is? Hulk? Hulk? It's the Hulk, but I actually it's actually a pesto pizza on an English muffin. So I started with my English muffin, and then I added some cheese, and then on top of that I put some green pesto, because the Hulk is very green when he's angry. And then I toasted this in the oven until it was melted. On top I added some olives for his hair, then I added some more cheese for his eyes, and olives for his eyeballs. Then I also made him look a little bit more angry by adding more olives. So it's basically like a pizza, but with green sauce. Yeah. Now back over here, I'm also giving the kids some broccoli. It just went really well with our theme today. And then for Mackenzie and Lily, I gave them pears. And for Jackson, I gave him grapes. I was going to give everyone grapes, but we were almost out. We didn't have quite enough, so they're getting pears. Is that okay, Jack? No, I want to have them again. Yeah, she's going to switch. Oh, you're going to switch? Okay, that's fine. We can switch. They're pretty much the same anyway. Yeah. Okay, so to go along with this, we also have some more Avenger goodies, starting with our special drinks. We have the Hulk, we have Iron Man, and we have Black Panther. We also have the matching yogurt. So we have an Iron Man yogurt, a Hulk yogurt, and the Black Panther yogurt. Now I am sending the kids with a treat today. These are Avenger sugar cookies. Now I don't normally make sugar cookies for the kids for lunch, but since we were going with an Avengers theme, I thought these would be perfect. I found these at Walmart and they were like $2. Did it look good? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is there still extra cookie dough in there? Yeah, I didn't bake them all, just enough for lunch. And that is everything in the lunch today. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lids on, and then after lunch... We'll show you what we ate. Okay guys, lunchtime is over. I've got Mackenzie, Lily, and Jackson here. So, what'd you guys think? It was yummy. Uh -huh. My favorite part was the Hulk pizza. The Hulk pizza? And then I just realized I was eating stinky cheese. Yeah, I didn't tell them that I used provolone cheese which is usually not their favorite, but it was fine, right? Yeah. Yeah. That well, was wrong. You were wrong, because provolone is just fine. So she ate everything, and Jackson left a little bit of his pear. I think he traded his pear for the grapes, or his grape for the pear. And Lily, you ate your whole thing, or did you share it? I it. Let's see. Jackson just has a little piece of broccoli left, but Lily ate everything. Good job, guys. <laughs> Lily, what was your favorite part? The Hulk pizza, the pail, and the juice and the cookie, and the puppy. So everything was your favorite? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's good. Much better than yesterday. See you next week. Okay, guys, now I would love it if you would let me know out of all of this week's lunches, which one was your favorite? Any special requests, lunches that you would like to see me make? Go ahead and leave those down below too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.